We all love watching top athletes from around the world go for the gold in the Summer Games. And today I'm excited to bring you six of those Summer Games adapted with a fun twist to do in your own backyard. This game is a cookie twist on diving. So just like in diving, the athletes want to have the minimal splash to increase their score. We're going to do the same thing, but our divers, in this case, are the Oreo cookies. So you're going to have everyone take turns holding an Oreo cookie up high and decide ahead of time how high you want them to hold it. You can always have the adults go higher and the kids go lower. But you're going to splash that into the milk and then you're going to measure how far out their splash goes. And to assist with that, I have a printable at familyfed.com. You can print this out and then it measures from the center and that way you can see when the milk splashes, how far out does it go. But you'll just set that down and then to protect it from getting wet and to make it really easy to clean off, I just like to put a cutting board on top of it and now your splash zone is ready for the milk. You put that in the center and it's time to have the Oreo cookies dive in. I like to do three rounds and the first one is just a simple dive. You can just drop it straight in. For the second one, I love to do a flip. So just like we have flips with our divers, you're gonna have to try and flip it in. And then for the third round, you're going to do a twist so that you combine that one in there. And you can have fun coming up with additional rounds as well if you have your own special twist for our Oreo divers. And the best part is every time you drop that Oreo into your milk, you get to eat it afterward. This next summer game is for all of you weightlifters out there. We're gonna try and lift just like the weightlifters in the Olympics, our heavy weights clear above our head and hold it there for three seconds. But in this case, it's not weights, it is blocks. So for every block, it's going to represent an additional number of pounds as if you are weightlifting. And you're gonna take turns trying to stack as many as you can on the top and see who can hold it for three seconds. If you want, you can make the points double for kids so they have a little bit more even with their parents as parents are probably gonna be able to balance a little bit more. But you just wanna see how high you can stack them and whoever is able to stack the most without it tipping over as they lift it up is the winner. This backyard summer game is a twist on the rowing competition. And I like to start with a blue piece of poster board and it just creates that fun ocean effect where we really feel like we're rowing more on water. You don't need it, but it's a fun touch. And then you wanna make sure you have a boat for all of your players. It's going to be a double skull rowing competition. So in this case, every two people are going to need a boat. I simply cut a food box in half and then covered it with paper. But if you want, you could also just get a box that's already pre-made like these from the Dollar Tree. You want to punch two holes on both long sides of the boats. I do it about an inch to an inch and a half apart. If you have only young kids, you could always put them about two inches apart to make it easier. And then you wanna get chopsticks and put those inside. Those are going to create the oars of our boats. Then you're going to have players on their two-man team sit opposite each other. Both of them are going to pick up the middle of their chopsticks and they're going to start rowing. And just like with the athletes in the summer games, winning this game is all about being in sync with your partner as you row. So both of you are going to want to row together in unison. And the first team who can successfully row 20 times without touching oars is the winner. If you do touch oars, then you need to start your count back from zero. And again, the first one to 20 is the winner. It's a great team building exercise and a really fun way to play off of the rowing competition in the summer games. Before moving to the next round, did you know that we love bringing you easy, low prep and low cost games to make every day special with your family? If you want ideas for things you can put together in even just five minutes at home, check out some of the other videos on this channel or visit familyfed.com where we have a whole bunch of ideas of fun things you can do, including games just for summer. So if you want more easy and fun game and craft ideas to create quality family time with your family, be sure to check those out. While there, you'll also find ideas for holidays and even DIY escape rooms. That's right, we have put together some escape rooms and they have step-by-step -step instructions and even printables to make it so easy to put together with your family. That's one of our family's favorite things to do and we make it easy to put together. So be sure to check out familyfed.com and follow us on social media for even more ideas. We have tons of ideas to make it easy for your family to play together. This backyard summer game plays off of rhythmic gymnastics. And just as they have these beautiful dance ribbons, you wanna get some of these for your family and then you're going to play a fun version of charades. You can use two ribbons or just one. And what you wanna do is have everybody act out Olympic sports. So just create a bucket that has the list of all of the sports in the summer games. And you can add other words as well, like athlete or judge or fan. 
and then everyone's gonna take turns acting those out. But the twist is that you're going to want to have the dance ribbon going while you perform. So if you ever stop moving it, or if it touches the ground, your turn is over, and whoever has guessed the most words while you were up, they get to go next. Or you can just take turns in a circle. So imagine just having fun doing some of those sports. Like say you wanna do archery, you're gonna keep this going and then pull your bow back and then shoot that arrow across. There are so many fun things you can do with our rhythmic gymnastic charades. The next game is a twist on the track and field races. So just like you'll have the track and everyone's gonna race around it, that's what we're going to do with this game as well, but it's going to be a croquet kickball race. To set up the course, you wanna get at least six pool noodles. I got these from the Dollar Tree. And then for every hoop that you're going to want to create, make sure you have two tent stakes as well. So you're going to put these two stakes into the ground and you can just kind of determine about how wide you want it. If you want to make it really hard, do it thinner. If you want to make it easier for kids, do it a little farther apart. And then you're just going to leave about half of the steak on the top so that you can go ahead and put that pool noodle over it and you'll instantly have your hoops for everyone to go through. And then everyone is going to get their own ball. I got these off of Amazon so it comes in six different colors so everyone can have their own color choice. But you can also use whatever ones you have at home. I will put a link to these in the description in case you want that. And then I love to have everybody line up at the starting line which will be the start and the finish line, just like on a track. And I like to have them take their runner stance at the blocks as well. And if you're playing with a lot of younger kids and adults, go ahead and have adults start a little bit further back to even out the playing field a little bit. And then once you count on your mark, get set, go, everyone's gonna race around that track in their own 100 meter dash to try and be able to go back to the finish line the fastest. If you kick past your hoop, you just have to kick it back to the front of the hoop until you go through it the right way. And then the first person to the end is the winner. This next game is a dodgeball twist on the balance beam. And although most of us will probably not have the balance that most gymnasts do, there's an easy twist to make it simple. And that's to be able to use some blue tape and just create your own balance beam on the ground on the driveway. So to create your balance beam, you simply want to put down one long strip of blue tape and then create another one four inches away from that. Then get two four inch pieces of tape and put those on the opposite sides to complete the ends of the balance beam and you will be ready to play. I put together a point system for scoring. You can download this from familyfed.com or simply create your own. And then I just put this where everybody would be able to see it. And as people are on the balance beam, they get points for each of the tricks that they do. They can keep doing trick after trick on the balance beam until they get hit twice with the dodgeballs or until they fall off the balance beam three times. And anytime one foot goes totally off the balance beam, that's an out. If even part of your foot is touching the blue tape, then you can be considered staying on the balance beam. And so again, just keep doing trick after trick until you get those two hits from a dodgeball or three falls off of the balance beam. And then just simply add up the points at the end and see who is the winner. If you're playing with a lot of older players who have really great aim and a really great arm to throw it a long way, Another thing that you can do is just use bouncy balls. Again, have them throw underhand so they don't hurt, but this way they have to be even closer on their target in order to be able to knock that player off the balance beam. Now, of course, you want to take some precautions on this. I like to make a rule that everyone has to throw underhand and that they shouldn't do it at high speeds. And I also like to make sure that everyone throwing is a pretty good distance away from the actual balance beam itself. That's gonna make it easier for the gymnast to be able to stay on while still making it fun for everyone else playing. By the way, if you want some soft balls, I picked these up on Amazon and they're just really nice, squishy, they're light touch, designed for dodgeball. So these are great if you want something that definitely won't hurt as you're playing together. And I also have just one dodgeball per person and that way when they throw it, They've got to go pick it up, run back to the throwing line before they can do it again. And that's going to give your at-home gymnasts an easy way to be able to increase their score with all of these fun tricks. Instead of creating your balance beam with blue tape, you can always buy one on Amazon as well. I got this folding balance beam for just $30. And if you have young girls who are going to love watching the gymnastics during the summer games, then this is something fun that they can play with indoors while they watch the summer games, as well as when you play the backyard summer games with your family. And just like with the summer games, if you want, you can always have a podium ceremony ceremony after each of the games to celebrate your first, second, and third place winners. You can use actual medals like these, which I will link to those on Amazon down below, or you can simply have everyone line up with their first, second, and third place winners side by side, raise their hands in victory in the air, and celebrate them that way. It's just a really fun way to recreate that same award ceremony from the summer games in your own backyard. I hope you enjoy these six fun and easy backyard summer games with your family. 
If you find them helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up so YouTube knows to recommend more of our videos to you in the future so you can have lots of resources for creating easy, fun family games at home. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time we post one of those videos. And if you want more ideas for summer fun, visit familyfed.com and search summer or I will put a link to some ideas in the description down below. I hope you have so much fun with your family. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.